Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you that are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. For those of you that are not new, welcome back. Um, in today's video, I have two exciting things. One is this makeup look right here. It's so bomb, like I love it. I didn't think it was gonna come out this good, but um, it's a little different. It has some color in it. Um, and I'm showing you guys some tips and tricks in this video and you know I just really hope you guys learn something from it and I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching it and learning how to get the look and um, I also want to go ahead and uh, choose a winner for my giveaway I have this app on my phone it's called random name picker so then when I'm on the screen where I have all the names I hit this button on the bottom that says choose and it says here that the winner is Adela so um, Adela she's actually won um, some of my giveaways before so um, I'm excited to do her lashes and I'm gonna screenshot this and this is um, this is a screen you guys usually see on Instagram or whatever when I post it so what I do is I just screenshot it like so and then I'll go and post it on Instagram and tag the winner so um, yeah Adela if you're watching this congrats and um, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video okay guys so I know I don't do this often but um, I wanted to show you guys kind of how I do to prep the skin for makeup um, what I do before I start to plot, to apply anything um, makeup related because I don't really show that a lot in my videos the main thing that I do is put um, Vaseline on my lips this is the Vaseline uh, lip therapy and rosy lips um, this has gone through hell and back with me it's like all faded it's dented I don't know how it got dented and it's like almost gone like literally it's a mess this is a face cream i just bought there's a beauty youtuber that uses this and i don't remember who it is i think it's jenny 69 that she talked about this one time but that's not for sure um this is cheap as fuck uh i bought it at walmart for like three dollars um it's this jergens face cream and it has three faces on it and it looks like this it's just pink on the inside and it's really thick like that's how thick it is i really like this because um i've been really actually dry lately i used to be oily when i was younger but now i'm dry with everything in makeup um the best thing to do is apply a very little bit not a very little bit but apply you know of enough to um you know maybe not do all of your face or whatever just apply a small amount and then blend that out see where that gets you if you need to apply more you can always apply more but it's always easier to apply more than it is to remove some so always keep that in mind that goes for eyeliner eyeshadow lipstick like that goes for everything it's easier to to apply more than it is to remove some so just keep that in mind next i'm going to apply primer this is the becca shimmering skin perfector primer it um looks just like this and it is a little bit shimmery this is in the shade pearl they have different shades but um i just chose the lightest one i don't know next i'm gonna do something that i um used to do a lot but i haven't done um here on my channel in a video um this is called cocktail um when you mix different products to create something new essentially um cocktail um you can do that with hair you can mix 
two different hair products together, two different gels together, it's called cocktailing. Just basically um, mixing like, you know, different products together. I'm just taking a palette here, which um, is one of these Mary Kay um, disposable palettes. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my NARS um, Natural Ready Longwear Foundation, and this is in the shade of Valencia. I'm going to take two pumps of that onto here. One, two, just like so. Then I'm going to take um, any liquid luminizer you have or any moisturizer that has um, like tint to it. This is a Glam Glow Moisturizer in Nude Glow. I also have um, Sun Glow, I believe is the other one, but this one's a little bit lighter. Um, I'm going to do this up close so you guys can see a little bit better. So um, I just do that and then I'm going to mix the two things together. What this does is it shears out your foundation, but it also adds a level of dewiness to your foundation. And I'm just going to um, carve out my brows and apply this all over my face as well. Younger Music take my expert face brush by real techniques and just blend it. Um, you want to take um, strokes downward this is for a reason being that naturally we have fine hairs called peach fuzz on our face that go downward. And if we were to take a brush and do upward strokes, um, our foundation would lift those hairs up and it would create um, texture on our skin. So I'm going to just go in with my NARS um, shadow primer. This has a little applicator. I really, really like this. I'm going to use my Flamingo palette. I'm actually going to go in with um, this orange shade that's right here. And it's called Popsicle. I'm just taking this as my transition shade. What transition means is what's in between, what's the last shade that's going to be on top, on top by your eyebrow. That's what a transition shade is. It basically is going to be the shade that helps blend the eyeshadow to nothing. Because if you have a green shadow, you can't, you know, there has to be something that is in between the green shadow and your skin tone that makes it blend. Um, so that's what a transition um, shade is really um, and where this goes is usually above the crease but it just depends on your eye look that you're wanting to go for where you're going to put this um, transition shade. Another thing is think about the different shapes you want to do with your eyeshadow. You can always um, wing your eyeshadow out can just do it around. Um, the higher you take it in here, the more lower it's gonna make your eyebrow look. So it's gonna make you look, you know, like you're like this, you know, like you're mad. Like it's gonna bring the inside of your brows down. Um, and this is what creates that fierce look, that look when you see models and they look like they're looking down, but they're looking straight at you. It's just they brought their shadow up right here and um, that's what closes their eyes in. Next, I'm going to take this shade down here called Sandals um, in my crease. And I'm taking this on a more defined brush. That way I can get more precise um, application. back in with the brush 
brush that I used at first with no product on it and this is just going to go in and blend everything together. Next I'm going to cut the crease. To do this I'm going to go in with this Estee Lauder Double, double Wear um, Concealer in 2C which is light medium. When you cut the crease you're essentially creating a new crease so you're going to go a little bit above where your actual crease is at. Next, 
next I'm just gonna take a small pointy fluffy brush to kind of blend out around my brows. Blend the rest out, I'm gonna go in with a dab sponge. This is the one from Real Techniques and I like it because it's not as expensive as the Beauty Blender and it has this flat side so when I apply powder, like it just makes everything so much easier. For powder, I'm going in with my Air Spun powder. I'm taking my sponge and I'm just packing that under my eye like so. A good trick sometimes that I do, I don't do it all the time, but um, is take some powder on a sponge that has a line, like you can create a line with it, and just go like that, like, and so when you contour, it's going to kind of create a guide for you. Um, this guide is essentially from the corner of your mouth to the middle of your ear. Now to contour, I'm, I'm going to go in with my Chocolate Soleil bronzer. Next I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush with no product on it, just to kind of help blend out that, um, that uh, bronzer. Next, I'm gonna just take a uh, like fluffy pointer brush like this and just dust away any um, excess powder. Next, I'm gonna go in with blush. This is Berry Amore by Milani. I'm gonna actually go in with this brush right here. Um, this is the M536 by Morphe. And it's just like a really pointy, um, but it's round. I don't know. Next, I'm going to go in and do the bottom of my eye. Um, I'm going to start off by using a nude liner. This is the one from Rimmel, the Scandalized Coal Liner. When you apply black in your waterline, it makes your eyes look a little bit more closed. It makes it look smaller. The same way that contour does. And then when you apply white liner, it creates, um, you know, an illusion that your eyes are wider, your eyes are bigger, your eyes are more open, you're more awake. Next, I'm just going to take popsicle and sandals on the same brush. Um, this is the first one, the fluffy one that I was using for the transition. And I'm just going to take this under my eyes. your nose contour because I almost did. Next I'm going to go in with the shade of pineapple again which is the uh, shimmery yellow shade that I put on um, my inner corner and I'm just kind of going to go over that but as well down here a little bit now that I'm finishing up the bottom. Now that I'm pretty much finished with the eyes, I'm going to go ahead and apply some setting spray. I'm going to go in with my Mario Badesco Rose Water Spray. Um, what setting spray does essentially is um, absorb any extra powders. So what this is going to kind of do also is merge all the layers um, of uh, from foundation to concealer to powder to contour to highlight to blush blend all those powders and all those layers into one thing so it's gonna kind of combine everything and make everything just kind of uh, finalize the situation so I go ahead and spray my face with the setting spray and that absorbs that extra um, that extra powder under my eyes and it also creates almost like a sticky base for me to apply my highlight to. I, I actually got this new brush by Morphe and I think this would be so great for highlight. So I'm going to actually try it. It's the Y11 and it looks like this 
it's just like a little um, flat as you can see it's like flat like this but it spreads out and it's round so I think that'd be like I don't know we're gonna see how that works for highlight I am gonna go in with my artist couture powder in Illuminati So what I do is I apply glue to my lashes. Um, you can do this directly if you feel comfortable. If not, you could put some like on a plate or something and use a Q-tip or the back of a brush or something to um, put it on here because you don't need a lot. You just want a very thin amount on the lash band. So another thing is when you're using Duo, um, you have to let it kind of dry a little bit so it can get sticky. If not, it's just going to be messy and the glue is going to go everywhere. So um, I apply it to the lash band and while that's going on, I curl my lashes. And I also apply mascara. This is the Voluminous Lash Paradise by um, L'Oreal. This is um, a waterproof one. I like waterproof because um, my mascara always transfers and I hate it so I'm also going to go ahead and apply some brow gel I'm going to use the Gimme Brow by Benefit and this is in shade number 3 it's always easier to look down into a mirror and apply them Yeah.